Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. Steeda's ultra-low profile jacking rails for the S550 Fastback have been very popular because simply they work, allowing you to jack up your Mustang anywhere along the pinch weld area. If there's one drawback to the original design, it did not fit the Mustang convertible. But Steeda realized that convertible owners would like to have these too and now offer a convertible specific version. Instead, we're going to install them on this 2015 EcoBoost convertible. Like the Fastback version, these Steeda low profile convertible specific jacking rails are made right here in the USA of a robust 2 by one inch steel. They have open ends to avoid condensation which can lead to rust and include necessary hardware for installation along with these billet adapters specifically for use on the convertible. For this installation, they lift or a jack and jack stands, 3 8 ratchet and a 15 millimeter socket. To begin the installation, we're getting the car off the ground and removing some factory hardware. It's going to be two bolts in the back here, then two more in the front. Now, these front bolts, there should be two, but it's not uncommon for the car to have less. I've seen some with one and some with none at all. Whatever you have, start by removing. We're going to put our jack and rail up into place again. Use the supplied hardware by Steeda. The jack and rails are side specific. The small hold section goes in the front, and this bracket here, where it's bent, faces towards the center of the vehicle. What you want to do is line that up with the factory holes up front and use the supplied short bolts. Just get them hand tight for now. The rear includes this billet spacer and then longer bolts. Tighten everything down. Sort of push it up. And repeat the process on the other side, and your installation's finished. With the Steeda Low Profile Jack and Rails installed in our convertible, now we can jack this car up anywhere along this pinch weld. It makes it much easier to get the car off the ground. The installation, as you saw, is very simple. Take about half an hour to be back on the road in no time.